So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and a um, bit of an ECW special here. So um, this is the um, figures from new manufacturer Bloody Miniatures. Um, this is the complete range as it stands um, that they that he's producing so far. It's the first delve, I guess, into uh, figure manufacturing um, was this range of kind of skirmishy type forlorn hope type um troops you got some dismounted um cavalry here in their in their helmets you've got um i think the guys here with the swords and mus and and, and uh, pistols he called them the uh, bloody murderers or something um so there's a range of 16 of these um so far now so successful were these and they're lovely figures really nice crisp well sculpted figures um, but such was the success that his first production run sold out in about a couple of weeks I think um, and I was lucky enough to get one of the first run throughs so I'm, I'm not going to go a whole review of these figures because there's a few people out there who've done a far better job than I um, Martin uh, my mate Martin from uh, channel 7th Sun I'll put a link up here where he uh, shows how they compare to other manufacturers so you know a lot of people I know get very excited about that um, now I painted these fellas up I'm a little annoyed the the varnish has given them a bit of a, a, a shine um, which I'm gonna have to try and dull down somehow um, because they certainly weren't when I'd finished with them. So I've kept them very muted. I've kept them very um, brownie, I guess. There's, I mean, some of them got red undercoats and uh, blue coats and what have you underneath. But essentially, I wanted them to be dark. Um, I primarily used, um, talk about these a lot, the Scale 75 paints. I've got, I bought a box set from them a while back. And um, I think it was called... Cool it was called different kinds of leather basically so you got black leather red leather brown leather orange leather and walnut <laughs> um and predominantly that's what i used uh on these figures um because i just thought they gave a nice just a slight variation of, of of kind of leathers which is what i wanted i wanted these troops to be in leather now i think some of them you could have made them as having uh, metal breastplate breast plates particularly the um the cavalry dismounted cavalry ones but i didn't really want them to be i wanted them to have leather so that's what i've done with them um i took the f idea f uh, for the flags from um andy who if you watch the plastic pla plastic crack podcast um he's he put posts up on the facebook page a lot of really good pictures and he showed did some fantastic images of what he'd done with his um these bloody miniatures um on his blog and i was almost ashamed to show mine such for how good his were uh again i'll put a link in the description if i can remember to do it um but he had loads of flags he drilled out hands and um and put flags in. i thought oh that's a really nice idea so i didn't go crazy i just put a couple in um this one i can't remember it's one of the uh, royalist uh, foot regiments and then i just use a, a, a flag of st george i don't know whether the royalists actually did use a, a pure up uh, flag of st george but i just thought it looked good um and i'm going to use these for my army my royalist army which is sort of modeled on the um um uh, byron's um welsh marches army um, and there's a there's a forlorn hope unit within that, and that's what these are going to be used for. I was originally thinking I'd break them up and use them as um, part of command bases or put them in pipe blocks or stuff like that. In the end, I thought, no, I want to use them en masse. So I've individually based them, so if I ever decided to do a skirmish game, I could use them for that. But also, uh, they can come together as a unit, which will be the full, uh, forlorn hope unit in that army list, and um, we'll join that. That takes me to another subject here, and one of the reasons why I'm doing this video slightly differently is down to Miller. Lots of uh, channel names being thrown in here, but Miller from um, Miller's Miniatures uh, does lots of ECW. Again, I'll put a, a link in the description to him. He said to me you know, <laughs> on the Discord, he sent me a message and said, have you ever done a showcase of your English Civil War figures? And I thought, do you know what? I I actually genuinely have never got them all out en masse. Um, so it seemed like a really good idea. So in the moment, I'm going to take you and show you the full English Civil War formation 
deployed. Um, and it's kind of amusing because I, it's always been, a, if you watch this channel, you know that I, I occasionally do ECW figures and I find it very much a sort of um, relaxation thing. It's something to break up doing the other projects. So I will do a, a, a you know, a regiment or some cavalry or some generals or some guns or what have you. And it's amazing how much it builds up. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So let's take a look at it. So there you go. There's the uh, forlorn hope leading out the army. But how big's the army, you say? Yeah, it's grown a bit. <laughs> I mean, as I said before, this was an army that I just started to build as a bit of light relief, really. Um, and I've never actually got the whole thing out on the table. And when I laid it out, I thought, oh my goodness, that has really, really grown. So I'm not even going to pretend to remember which regiments are which. But I'll give you a, a look at what we got here. Um, so this in the front here is a very big unit of um, Irish um, pike and shot. So the pike are in the middle, 24 pike and two wings of um, uh, 16 shot, one on each side, um, which in I, I play pike and shot um, and the games we play, that would be qualify as a large unit. Behind it, you see what's a standard unit, which is 16 pikemen and two wings of 12. Uh, um, musketeers so so you've got the um, the Irish here one two three four five regular uh, regiments of uh, just standard size infantry and they're real mixed bag um, I think these are front rank really like these really really like these most of the others are warlords with a few other bits and bobs put in um, one of these army, one of these, and I can't even tell which one it is. I think it was this one, was made up of. I did a video very early in my video channel where I just um, reconditioned, shall we say, a unit um, of figures I'd just bought on eBay, or actually no, bring and buy, I think it was, and I just basically reconditioned them into a new force. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. So six, if I include the Irish foot regiments, um, plus we've got a unit of commanded shot here. And of course the forlorn hope. Also got a sniper. Don't know how that plays out, and the rules never really used it. Um, I've noticed laying it out. I've, I, I've got cavalry to paint, but I do need to do some more. Uh, I've also got rather a lot of commanders and um, guns. So let's look along the commander. This was that um, the prince's dwarf um, figure. This one here, which I did a video on. Some more commanders. There's the one I just showed the other week. This is uh, Lord Byron himself. All the way through to here. Out on the flank we've got two Galloper guns. Uh, there's a unit of Dragoons. Uh, the way I symbolise them in Pike and Shot is I do this. I have one mounted, two dismounted to show that these are, um, these are um, uh, musketeers. You, you, I mean, I suppose I should really have a dismounted and a mounted, but this is, just seems to be an easy way of doing it. I've got one, two regiments of foot, uh, two regiments of cavalry. These are metal. These are lovely figures, both of these. Really pleased with these. Front rank again. I've got some more front ranks to paint up uh, in the stash. Uh, I guess this is sort of a medium gun and this is a light gun. A couple more light guns here, and then two of the real biggies. Whoops, so I put my hand out of the way. So two two light guns, and then two of the biggies, the big siege cannons. Sucker, uh, Saker guns, I think they're called, aren't they, in this period? And then at the back, there's the mortar. And I think this is uh, the bombardier. I think that has a special rule as well. Never used it. It came in a pack. I painted him up. Then over on this wing, again, we've got another Galloper gun. So I've got three of those in total. Uh, another unit of uh, musket uh, Dragoons, sorry. I've got another couple to paint up of, of Dragoons. So um, 
then I can I re, I would like another couple I think they're useful useful formations then a unit of these are plastic warlord um, heavy cavalry unit of that and then at the back here these are the um, warlord cuirassiers um, so they're all encased in oops in metal nice good fun to do so there we go I ought to toss up the number of points but um, frankly life's too short to do that but my forlorn hope sits at the front quite proudly try not to whiz you all around too much so we do a bit of flyby as I say it just amazes me how this army has just sort of grown and grown and grown and it isn't until you lay it out that you suddenly think oh my goodness that's actually quite sizable now I'll need to look up what the regiments are because knowing me because I don't really know a huge amount about English Civil War I may well have put Royalist and Parliamentarian units together but that's fine because I've got some unplainted um, uh, infantry to paint as well and then I'll I can, may end up having enough for two forces, one each side. That would be very useful indeed. So there you go. The other Dragoons and the other Galloper gun. So quite pleased with how this has turned out. And thanks to Miller for suggesting it, because I probably wouldn't have thought about doing it, to be honest. Um, and it makes me quite happy to see what we've got. That's a lot of figures, lot of figures, but painted over the period of quite a long time, to be honest, a couple of years or so, two or three years, since I restarted Wargaming and went down to Farnborough and they just pay, play occasional games of English Civil War and I thought, you know what, I love English Civil War, I only had a 15 mil English Civil War army, so I thought I'd start building a 20, 28 and the initial core of these troops were ones I just bought at uh, Bring and Buy Sales and eBay uh, and I added to a bit later on but uh, largely it's been bought on the cheap makes it even more satisfying anyway thought you'd like that thanks to Miller for making that suggestion links to his channel in the description um, lovely bloody miniatures here and incidentally if this video goes up in time, check out Monday night's um, Plastic Crack podcast, 8pm UK time. Uh, you can pick up the replay, obviously it'll be up on YouTube. It's on Martin's channel, Seventh Son. And this week we have as a guest uh, the guy who produces these bloody miniatures. So we can see whether we can find out what he's got planned next and you know what the inspiration was for him to do this range. But there you go. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Hope I haven't made you too sick by flying around like I'm doing. A white regiment there. And a black regiment behind. <laughs> um, anyway, stay safe. Stay well. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I will see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like, and even if you didn't hit the dislike, but please just explain why, um, it'd be, it's really difficult to know when you get a dislike whether it, what, what the reason is, um, maybe they just hate me, but maybe it's because you didn't like the subject, but it'd just be helpful to know. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you see when I put stuff up. Um, and if you're feeling, if you're feeling particularly generous, um, there's um, a Patreon page linked to the, to the channel, which helps me out um, when I'm trying to do stuff for the future. And also a link to some um, uh, merchandise like uh, t-shirts and so forth that uh, you might be interested in. So thanks for watching once again. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. Mm -hmm.